Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about deleting data from database using the entity framework. So in our previous tutorials, we have learned about inserting, reading, and updating data. So today we are going to learn about deleting data. So I'll close this and. Uh, I have added this button into this form, so I'll double click on this to create its click event as we have created the click event of this button. Now we will uh, delete, uh, the, uh, write the code part deletion here. So first we will create this uh, line of code student db entities. So student uh, db entities db equals new student db entities. And now we will put semicolon here. Now the next line we will create a war entry equals db dot entry, and here we will pass in this st model. So where is this st model coming from? We have declared it at the top, and when we are editing this. Uh, record so we are populating this st model you can see it here so when uh, we want to delete a record so we will double click on that record so it will be edited and it will be added to this st model and we will use this st model then here and uh, with the delete button we will uh, delete that record so here we will use if statement so if entry dot state equals equals uh, entity state dot detach then do what come here db dot is the uh, tables dot Attach and here we will pass in the ST model and now I'll put semicolon and we will use db dot ST uh, tables dot remove and here we will pass in this ST model again and now as we have removed the model now we will uh, save the data uh, the changes so db dot save changes and now I'll put semicolon here and now we will uh, repopulate our uh, data grid view so I'll use this and now I'll put semicolon so now our code is complete so if I run this application right now and now if I double click on this record number seven so it is here and now if I delete this now you can see the record number seven disappears. Now if I double click on this record number six and now if I delete this, now you can see deleted. Now if I similarly if I uh, double click on this and delete this record is deleted. So uh, in this way you can implement delete operations using entity framework. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.